Okay, here we go. Well, I see by the, in the corner of the screen, it says it's 11 a.m., so we'll call our meeting to order. Uh, I'm Ray Mitchell, and I'll be chairing today's meeting. I'm Joshua Wilson. I'm one of the uh, commissioners. Julie Good, Civil Service Examiner and Secretary. Jeff Young, Deputy Police Chief. Okay, thank you for attending. Uh, the first item, item, item we have on there is to approve the minutes of the December 14th Civil Service Commission meeting. Has everybody had an opportunity to review the minutes? And are there any issues? I have no concerns. Okay, I don't have any either. So the, uh, I guess the chair can make a, uh, uh, submit a, a nomination and we go ahead and accept them as written. Make a motion. Make a motion, I'm there sorry. You Thank okay. you. I'll second it. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Motion was made and carried, except the minutes. Uh, the next item on there is to elect a 2024 Civil Service Commission Chair and Vice Chair. Here comes Brian. He's joining us now. Perfect timing. Did you guys hear Julie? Brian's, Brian's joining us. Joining us. Yeah. Hello, Brian. I see your name. Hey, folks. Sorry I'm late. That's okay. The value oh. of travel. I was battling COVID on day two here after traveling all week. So, well, Brian, we're, we're on uh, item B of the action items. We approved the minutes. Uh, okay. Do you want to introduce yourself? Yep. Brian McManus, Civil Service Commission. Okay, item B is to elect a 2024 Civil Service Commission Chair and Vice Chair. So, Julia, that's yeah. not your name. So, right? yeah. so this is really up to the three of you to, um, would you like Brian to continue as chair if he's willing, or do you want to rotate and, and nominate a new chair and vice chair? It's really up to you. Well, I, I personally think it's healthy that we rotate. Okay. And, and Josh has done an admiral job sitting in from time to time as chair. So I would make a motion that uh, Josh become uh, the chair and uh, and Brian would be the vice chair. What do you think, Josh? I'm open to that. Oh, great. Well, I will second that motion. Okay. 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 Uh, I made a motion has been seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Josh, you're our new chair. Okay. My insights chair. Okay. The item three is the certified police records specialist continuous testing eligibility list. So my computer just crashed, but I was able to email that to you um, a few minutes before the meeting to the commission. Um, I don't. It's not in here. Yeah, right? I, I emailed it to you oh, with, wow. a few minutes ago. Yeah. Before the crash. Um, so it's it's not much of a change. We had a um, we had some interviews a couple of weeks ago. We invited eight candidates. Um, five, no, four actually made it to their interview. Um, it was on the snow day, but the the um, lack of attendance wasn't due to snow. It was other things that came up. Um, a couple of no shows, and of the candidates who participated, three did not pass, mm. but one did. And the one that did pass um, actually was placed in step one on the eligibility list. So they were the highest scoring of any previous candidates as well. Um, so there are currently two vacancies in the police record specialist department and, and the deputy chief can talk about this as well, but um, we're asking you to sign the eligibility list today with that update of an additional candidate so that they can move forward with um, uh, determining which of the candidates they'd like to hire to fill those two positions. Well, can we approve the list when, when we don't have mm -hmm. it? Yeah, yeah, and it yeah it was mailed to these <laughs> to Josh and Brian, but yeah, anybody, I guess that yeah, right now. Any, have anybody have any questions about the list? Uh, no questions. I make a motion to approve the list. I second that motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Okay. Item four is a staffing and recruiting update. 
All right. I see Julie's looking at me, so I'll start off. Um, <laughs> first, the first thing to say is that, uh, you know, we really appreciate a lot, all of Julie's efforts. She has done a great deal, you know, throughout 2023. I mean, we didn't really get a chance to to talk about some of the successes that, that we had in 2023. So I really want to uh, appreciate Julie and, and say thank you for all of her hard work. I mean, she set up a lot of different um recruiting events that she attended either by herself or with somebody uh, to include one that was earlier this week. And then the PST uh, recruiting and testing today, just this morning. Um, so, you know, Julie has done a great job. So we really appreciate her over in the PD. Um, you can see that over the last year with us working together, the way we have, we have you know, really started to identify some high quality candidates and we've got a lot of people hired. Um, unfortunately, we did have one of our entry advanced candidates did not make it through uh, the field training process. You know, it, it happens. Uh, we, we don't, we don't have hundred percent success rate uh, as much as we would like to. Sometimes it just doesn't happen. So uh, that, that individual will be moving on to some different things and uh, uh, very likely a military career. So wish him the best of luck there. Uh, but, but again, you know, uh, we've been doing a lot of good things. So getting into our staffing update uh, with regard to the record specialist, we have another round of interviews and what's called a sit along uh, that's going to be occurring next week. Um, the sit along is exactly what it sounds like where they go and they sit and observe what one of the record specialists is doing uh, to make sure they want to do that job. So that'll be occurring next week. And we have one record specialist, at least that is starting the background process now. So uh, that list that you're certifying commander Thomas is doing an in-house background Um so hopefully we'll be getting that person up board within about the next three, four weeks max. It just, it depends on, you know, when the polygraph gets completed and then when the records checks can come back and interviews can get done, that kind of thing. So we'll keep you updated on that. Um, going into the record supervisor position. I know we talked a little bit about this before uh, we had a change up in who was going to uh, be selected for that position. So Miss Arian Fox, one of our current record supervisors has been selected and she, I believe is already installed in the position. Is that correct, Julie? Yes. I think, so I think this last Monday was her first day um, as record supervisor. So she's going to be a, a wonderful uh, breath of fresh air in the unit and, and be able to to take them to different heights. So we're very excited about that. So well, going into no longer, no longer a vacant position. The supervisor is filled now. Yeah. Yeah. Re so police record supervisor, uh, we have it's no longer a vacant position. Correct. Good. That is correct. Okay, so going into um, officer positions, I think we're sitting at about five vacancies right now, and we have several people that are uh, sitting in the pipeline. So we did two command interviews this week. We have another one next week. Uh, we have two polygraphs that are scheduled for today, uh, one that's scheduled for February 5th. We have a job offer out to one of our entry-level candidates, and he has until the 28th to accept that offer, or I'm sorry, the 29th. Um, if he accepts that offer, he will start on February 5th. So that's another win for us. And then we have a lateral candidate that we're looking at her uh, documents right now, and we'll probably be moving her into a command interview here very shortly. And, you know, again, um, I, just, I can't say enough good about the things that Julie has done, uh, working with the commission, working with us and the PD to, to really get us to where we are today. So thank you, Julie. And, and again, thank you to the commission for, for all of your help and hard work. I know that, um, the beginning of 2023 was a little bit tumultuous for us. We're you know, meeting like every week or something. So again, thank you all for, for all your hard work. We, we'd really value your partnership and involvement in our, our, uh, commission here. Uh, Chief, so the, it says vacant positions uh, four. Is that should that be five then? I believe five is correct with Patrick Schreiber, um, and that I, I think that the the now the list that I'm looking at is dated January eighth. Yeah. So um, th th there may be some lag time there, right? Okay, yeah. and also uh, you, uh, we're going to be getting Officer Fenton out of the academy starting on February twenty seventh. I read. Yes. And if we have that other entry level, uh, an offer has uh, been extended, that person could report on the 5th of February, you said? Correct. So there's two that are short-term right there for, uh, out of the five, right? Uh, 
Well, Fenton's already counted in the well, Fenton's um, already counted in the 34. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see. Okay. Yeah. So, but when um if that candidate accepts the offer to start February 5th, then we'll be back down to four. So it looks like mid-year we may be fully staffed. I'll knock on wood. We're open. <laughs> yeah. I mean, things are in motion. Fantastic. Any other questions about the staffing and recruiting update? Just great job. Just a comment. Great job. Yeah. Thanks for the recognition, Chief. I really appreciate that. We, yeah, uh, Julie, you deserve more, Julie, hurting this group of cats. I'll tell you right now, just alone. Never mind all the other work you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, next week um, on Wednesday, Wednesday in Monroe, there's another law enforcement emergency services type recruiting event that I'll be attending with one or two police officers. So that's a great way to start off the year with three recruiting events right away. So that's good. Yeah, starting strong. Yeah. And while it may uh, be disappointing to have a entry advance level candidate fall out, I mean, that just goes to say that, you know, we do have expectations and standards and I'm glad to see that we recognize that before we brought them on. So congrats, uh, well done. Yeah, system's working. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's on new well, on new business. I just had one question for the chief. Uh, any more news on the uh, the south or the Snohomish County? I guess it is Academy. Well, it's, so that is going to be a, a long, long uh, process to get that done. We have the one in Vancouver that is already open. Um, and I, what I understand from that is that when we were starting to recognize that there were some significant challenges with the Skagit County one, they immediately started focusing on the one in Vancouver. So mm -hmm. we're still looking for some sites up in the northern part, you know, whether it actually comes into Snohomish County versus staying in Gadget, I don't know right now. Um, right now, everything is still in, in discussion, so I don't have a lot of information to provide to you on that right now. Any other comments on new business? Uh, I have no new business. Uh, so I guess I may make a motion that we adjourn the meeting. No, I'll second. second. It. Josh, either one. Okay. Uh, do we need to vote on that? Or? Uh, sounds like your motion was unanimous and it was carried. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Appreciate you rearranging your schedules to meet today. We'll adjourn that meeting. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Chief, are you still?